गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन माई नेम इज अमृत शाम कर बने फ्रॉम फाइनल ईयर बी टेक एम आई टी अकेडमी ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग आलमदी सो टूडे आई एल बी प्रेजेंटिंग माई फाइनल ईयर कैप्सोन प्रोजेक्ट एंड द टॉपिक ऑफ माई कैप्सोन प्रोजेक्ट इज ऑनलाइन पेमेंट्स फ्रॉड डिटेक्शन आई यूजिंग मशीन लर्निंग सो आई हैव यूज लाइब्रेरीज लाइक पांडास नम्पाय मैट डॉट लेब एंड सी बॉन सो इन द नेक्स्ट सेल आई हैव इम्पोर्ट आई हैव डिस्प्लेड माई डेटा सेट Uh, using the uh, pandas uh, pd dot read underscore csv and you can see that there are various attributes like step which represents a unit of time where one step equals one hour. This is the type of transaction uh, like payment, transfer, cash out, cash in or debit. This is the amount of transaction. This is the name of the originating account, old ba- old balance of the originating account, new balance of the originating account. Similarly, name of the destination account, old balance of the destination account, new balance of the destination account. and uh, this is is fraud attribute zero represents a non fraudulent transaction uh, and whereas one represents the transaction is fraud so in the next uh, cell i have uh, calculated the uh, null or uh, data type in my uh, data set so you can see that uh, there is no null uh, data type uh, in uh, my data set so and yes uh, here i have calculated the type each each type of transaction done uh, like for cash out this is the number of transactions done for payments cash in transfer and debit so this will help us to uh, you, you visualize the data and i've visualized the same using the plotly uh, so you can see the distribution of the transaction type 32 35.2% of transactions are of type cash out 33.8 are of type payment 22% are of type cash in 8.38% are of type transfer and 0.65% are of type uh, debit uh, so yes in uh, this step i have generated a correlation heat map using a seaborn and a matplotlib library so uh, this helps us to uh, give us a correlation uh, between the uh, numerical uh, features uh like yes you can see here uh, the values which are uh, closer to 1 uh, represents a strong positive correlation whereas values which are closer to -1 uh, represents a strong negative correlation whereas values which are uh, closer to 0 uh, they does not uh, represent any strong uh, significance correlation significance uh, so in the uh, next cell i have converted uh, the categorical values in the numerical uh, form so that uh, our machine learning learning model will be able to understand uh, it correctly so you can uh, see that uh, here no fraud uh, is been assigned as zero like zero is for the no fraud transaction and one is for the fraud uh, fraudulent transactions so in the next uh, step uh, i have Uh, like split the data for uh, training and uh, testing purpose x is for the inputs and y is for the outputs so i have for this purpose i have used a decision tree classifier uh, model because after going uh, through various uh, research papers i found that uh, uh, the decision tree classifier was uh, giving the best results and uh, as you can also see uh, that uh, the score is 0.99 which is quite good so i have saved my model name model.apl you can see this here and yes i've loaded that model and uh though uh, as a sample a prediction i've used uh, the model dot predict and given the uh, inputs in the form of array like 4 which is the uh, type of transaction 181 is the amount 180 this 181 is the uh, old balance and this zero is the uh, new balance of the account so and it has uh, predicted it as a fraud tra- a fraud transaction so let us see uh, in our data set whether it is fraud or not so in the type cash out uh, the amount is 181 old balance uh, is 181 and the new balance of original account is 0 and it has categorized it as fraud so yes our prediction uh, is uh, quite good and yes i have used a uh, flask for the uh, for rendering uh, rendering of the template uh this is my index.html it will uh, return the index.html file it will route to the index.html and uh, then a slash predict will route uh, to the uh, prediction 
uh, using the uh, method post in which I will have to uh, give uh, uh, the input in the, in the form uh, for type amount old balance and new balance and uh, similarly I have converted uh, the type of transaction uh, into the uh, numerical form like cash out is one payment is two cash in is three etc and uh, then I have taken uh, np dot array like this is for the uh, I have taken input in the uh, form of array A value is the uh, type of transaction this is the amount old balance and the new balance so now uh, let us go to our project and uh, see if the uh, things are working so if I choose this as a payment and this is 181 uh, old balance is post 181 and new balance is 0 so this is uh, not fraud and for cash out if you see so amount is 181 Old balance is also 181 and new balance is suppose 0. So it will give a result as fraud. So, yes, uh, thank you all. Uh, this was from uh, my side. Thank you very much. Have a great day.